Hello viewers, welcome back to Inside the Shop. I'm blessed. I'm blessed to have something to do that people have uh, started bringing me more and more projects and uh, they must be okay with the job I'm doing because they keep coming back. So uh, this is a couple of uh, rescue axes that a uh, customer brought me. And the problem with these he's having is that this has no retainer. So it has in the past flew up and came undone while he's running. So you can imagine that. These things are not light either. And then this one, the problem is also that it's a top draw. You got it out of the picture there. I'll cut that part out. This is a top draw. So what has happened is in the past he's gone to pull it out and cut himself pulling it out. That can be a problem. So uh, you, he wants this to be a, an, an under draw, which should be pretty cool. Um, so I may just use the same type of shape but this part will not be sealed. What I'll do is I'll put some kind of flap or something here. This will be obviously be more straight across so that he can undo the flap and draw it out from the front or from the bottom front. So he never has to touch or get his hands uh, next to these blades. Let me uncover these and I'll give you a better view. So I'll show you what, uh, what he's up against. So unlike my pipe hawk, which just has a simple cover on it here, my pipe hawk has a flat surface for pounding on the back. And these guys, they have a sharpened blade. So you could definitely uh, punch some holes in uh, some vehicles with that. And also... Uh, if you keep it sharp, you can cut your fingers too, which uh, wouldn't be a pleasant experience. You want to make sure that all your grabbing is done down here. Um, as I said, these are not light, so when you're working to deploy them um, and you get your fingers wrapped around that business end of that spike, uh, you're going to be unhappy and also it can impair your ability to do your job so nobody wants that <clears throat> same thing on this one this one's an even bigger spike um, and on top I guess you could grip through the circle but when you're not paying attention how many people really have that option how many people are going to do that I don't know I don't think many people so oops anyway so this will have to come out bottom bottom ways and uh, that way you can uh, the gentleman can keep his fingers from being uh, cut by those spikes so that's one of the things I'm working on I also have to go get more leather because my 1022 stock covers uh, let me pull one out. Thank you to everyone who's bought one of these on uh, Gun Broker or eBay or locally. Um, I really like making these. Uh, don't get that suede wet. Oops. I'll cut that out too. Don't get the suede wet. Every, every year or so, you're going to want to put some Neat's Foot Oil or some kind of preservative in this leather. That'll keep it from drying out and becoming brittle and cracking because you don't want this leather piece ending up like that uh, British officer's sword cover. All that thing needed was to be uh, treated every year and that thing would, would last forever. All right, maybe not forever, but definitely it would be in much better shape than it is now. 
It's late and I'm tired. This is a beast. This is going to be a beast of a cover for a beast of a tomahawk. Uh, I'll get the specifics, but this thing is just going to be uh, definitely a piece of work. So. Yeah. That's a thick that's a lot of leather in a tomahawk cover. But uh that's that's dirty. That's uh, uh the sides are uh six seven ounce. The gusset is uh almost sixteen ounces. And then it's got two straps so it can do a downward uh, release. And it's also ambidextrous. And this is taking a while to make. But uh, I think it's going to come out good when I'm done with it. Uh, should be done in another couple days. And uh, wow, what a project. Just an interesting, fun, uh, challenging project. Hello viewers, I'm in the shop today and it's probably loud because I got the fan on but I just wanted to give you a look at what I'm up to. This customer had a couple of uh, tomahawks and he wanted bottom draw holsters so this is the first one and as you can see you can undo the snaps and draw the tomahawk from the bottom. And the original sheath for that holster is some kind of uh, plastic. It does have a lot of mounting points and uh, that's great but there's really no way to secure the tomahawk into the sheath and it's very rigid uh, so the tomahawk could easily fall out of this sheath and that's what the customer was complaining about so with this they get an ambidextrous sheath that's a bottom draw so he's he's got belt loops on either side so he can hang it on his right or left and then the snaps will unsnap from either side, releasing the tomahawk from the bottom. So he doesn't have to worry about the tomahawk falling out and uh, potentially cutting him. The other thing this customer had me make was uh, a Tom Three Persons holster in black. And if you watched me before, you know how I feel about black. Uh, it's just difficult because it rubs off on everything and there's a certain way to do it to get it so that it doesn't just rub off and it's very difficult uh, in my opinion I I've had a I had a hard time doing anything in black and getting it to not rub off but I think I got this one um, the Tom three persons holster is a holster that finishes before the trigger loop and right up here on the top uh, just before the front sight and this one uh, has a uh, hammer strap so uh, no no hammer thong this is a full strap and then on the back in this case I made a closed loop to get uh, to put it on the belt so that's that'll uh, um, this will not unsnap. This will not come undone. Um, that should ride on his uh, belt, a two-inch belt, pretty comfortably. Um, so I hope he'll like that. And then this beast is also a tomahawk. And on this tomahawk, he wanted. 
a ambidextrous uh, sheath so this sheath also can fit on either side it also can hang off the belt he wanted a couple D-rings so that he could hang the sheath off the belt now I don't know exactly how that works I don't know what kind of mechanism he has for that to hang it off there but uh, this was done in accordance with the uh, customers instructions so and this is these sheaths this is not like five ounce leather this is two slabs of nine ounce leather with the belt uh, loops also nine ounce this one has a belt loop that can be unsnapped so single snap with a line 24 snap and all the weight is being transferred up here to where it's stitched so that's not that is sewn with bonded nylon thread and shouldn't come apart at all So that's what I've been up to, along with a couple other things, and uh, I'll show you those in a different video. Y'all have a blessed weekend.